Well, welcome to the Vintage Farmhouse, where this afternoon we've been going through piles of stock we've got still in the farm barns here that we want to try and get listed for the virtual vintage fair that we're entering on the 3rd of June for the first time. And we found some cracking pieces that we think you're going to love. Just look at this pair of oriental bird bowls and the detailing on these rims. Absolutely beautiful bits of china for display or use. And look at this, the glaze shine, lovely, good condition pieces. We've got a couple of soupiers. This large cream and gilt version is an absolute splendid piece. And the floral version in front of it, again, lovely detailing and colours on that pattern. A little blue and white sauce terrine with its uh, tray. Nice detailing on the handle there. And we love this piece. Chrysanthemums, moulding, beautiful handle lid, these matching pair. Lovely floral blossom design. And moving on to this Taza stand dating from around 1840. Asiatic pheasant design. Beautiful rims. Look at the butterflies on that. And the moulding and detailing on the handles. And then we came across this set, which is, I think, going to be very popular. Beautiful colour, hand decoration. Look at the mouldings on those rims. Set of dessert or dinner plates. I haven't quite measured those up. They look around nine inches. And two serving plates, square one and an oblong oval version. Beautiful design. Lovely china that's come direct to us from auction, not yet being listed, just been sitting waiting for me to crack on. We've got some crystal rose bowls because it's rose season. Should have decorated those up, but they, look, we haven't quite got to that. Then we've got this lovely trug, collecting your flowers. Gorgeous lantern. Very special piece, this, with its Art Nouveau brasswork detailing. Lovely piece. Some Sunday bowls, glass dishes, drinking glasses. Very retro, very stylized. Nice pieces, those. And further terrines and serving platters. So, a nice selection of stuff that we're hopefully going to crack through and get listed. If you want to message us about any of these pieces, please feel free to do so. And we'll try and get them all listed and on the Vintage Farmhouse website in good time for the Virtual Vintage Fair, which we're really looking forward to.